I know some of you guys probably wanted to see live footage of me washing my sewing, but honestly, I kind of be drowning when I'm washing my hair. So I just didn't feel myself doing it. And plus that was gonna make this process even longer. But I'm pretty sure I washed my hair just like you wash your hair. I either wash it in the shower or in the sink. And this time around, I washed my hair in the sink. Nothing special at all, I promise you guys. It's nothing special at all. It's very, very real. Anyways, um, I used the Red Ken shampoo and conditioner and you guys have probably seen this before if you guys watch my Kinky Curly to Straight routine. So if you guys have seen that video, you guys already know about these shampoo bottles and this is the same bottles that I've had for about almost a year now I think and they are still going strong so this is what I washed my hair and my sewing with and I also use this anti-dandruff moisturizing conditioner on my hair as well because with sew-ins you can't really like clean your braids for real for real because they're like trapped under the extensions so I just use this as well so I can get my hair as clean as possible and to remove all the dandruff and dirt that is stuck up under my sewing so I use this as well it's actually still in my hair right now and I'm gonna go wash this conditioner out and move on to the blow drying and straightening process which is going to be a long process but I gotta do it <laughs> I don't want to do it, but I got to. <laughs> okay, so I washed all the conditioner out of my hair, and this is how it looks. And I did go ahead and pat dry it a little bit so it wouldn't be dripping wet. And then I sprayed my hair with this all-in-one Redken uh, multi-benefit treatment. And this helps to condition my hair. It controls flyaway. It's lightweight. It makes blow drying my hair easier, and it definitely does. It helps reduce dryness, detangle, it nourishes my hair. It helps prevent split ends, which is really good. It adds shine and all that good stuff. And I just spray this all over my leave out and my sew in. If you guys want to know all the benefits of the spray, I'll link it down below so you guys can kind of read up on it. I think the girl that straightened my hair for the first time professionally, I think this is what she used in my hair. I don't know if you guys remember, but, but in my kinky curly to straight routine, I told you guys that she sprayed something on my hair I told you guys I think it got discontinued but I seen this in Ulta and it looked really really familiar so I feel like this is what she used in my hair but I am not too sure but this is basically the product I use to help detangle my hair blah 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 okay so before I go in and blow out my hair I'm going to be putting this Redken satin wear thermal smoothing blow dry lotion on my hair and this is basically a lightweight lotion that provides heat protection up to 450 degrees 232 celsius and it also helps to control frits so i'm putting this all over my natural hair um not the extensions because i really don't need to put it on the extensions i need to protect my hair so that's what i'm going to do and now i'm going to be using the denman i think that's called a denman brush to detangle my hair and I'm just going to braid it out of the way and then I'm going to move on to um, detangling my weave. Now you guys are going to notice that I'm not going to reapply any more product to my hair. Um, what I put in my hair is the only thing I'm going to put in my hair. So you guys are going to see me spray water in my hair instead of adding more product because my hair is on the thin and fine side so I don't want to add too much product in my hair because then it's going to weigh it down and, and cause my hair not to move and be flowy and honestly these products aren't cheap so I don't need to be wasting unnecessary product so you guys will be seeing me spray water in my hair to reactivate the product so that it's easier for me to work with my hair and the extensions my hair just comes out better when I'm working with damped hair not basically dry hair okay now that my hair slash leave out is detangled I braided it out of the way to keep it out of my way and to also keep it detangled so that I can detangle the weave and also blow it out so I switched to a different brush to detangle my weave and if I'm not mistaken I got this brush from Target. So I'm just going to detangle the weave and then once I detangle the weave I'm going to section it off so I can blow dry my hair. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side of my head. I'm just gonna go back through, make sure it's detangled, and then section it off and twist it, and put a big old bantu knot in it and tie it out of the way.
Okay, so now that everything is detangled and separated, I'm going to move on to blow drying out my hair and I'm going to start with the extensions first and then I'll blow dry my hair out. So, so I'm going to be using this Silver Bird blow dryer to blow out my hair and I really love this blow dryer because it makes blow drying my hair so much quicker. It's amazing i really love this blow dryer i'm so happy that i bought it and the reason why i got this is because i've seen this girl on youtube use it in all her videos and she's a hairstylist so if it's good enough for the pros then i just had to buy it because they know what they're doing and i don't and i just learned the art of finessing my hair so that's why i got this blow dryer it's bomb it's bomb.com okay um and as you guys can see i'm sticking the blow dryer under my sew-in to make sure the braids under my sew-in is completely dry if you guys are washing your sew-in make sure the braids under your sew-in is completely Completely dry because if it's not the braids up under your sewing is going to start to get soggy it's going to create a odor and the hair that you strained out is going to start to frizz up because it's absorbing the water that is under your sewing so that's why you guys will see me sticking the blow dryer into my sewing to make sure the braids under my sewing is dry so I'm just gonna keep blowing out my hair until I feel like it's completely dry this might be a lengthy process but you just want to make sure your hair is completely dry because that can make your natural hair revert back to curly um so just make sure everything is dry and honestly just take your time this may not be a quick process but once you finish your hair you're going to love it so just take your time if you're anything like me i get really frustrated and anxious when it comes to doing my hair so i really have to take a chill pill before i do my hair because I just really don't like doing my hair like it, I don't know what it is so this is how the Eunice Peruvian water wave hair looks blown out after three months of wear and tear girl this hair is still bouncy it's shiny it does not tangle the only thing that I did notice that it does is shed it doesn't shed like a dog but you will notice some shedding as you wear it more and more okay so now that my extensions are dry and blown out I have to go back in and blow out my real hair so I'm gonna take the spray bottle and spray some more water on my hair to reactivate the product which was the Redken satin wear thermal smoothing blow dry lotion And now I'm going to take the blow dryer and blow out my hair and I am still using the tension method but without the brush I'm just using the comb that came with the blow dryer. And this method just really works for my hair so that's why I always do it. Okay so now that everything is blown out I'm just going to go back over my hair with the blow dryer and I'm also going to make sure the braids under my sewing is dry and then I'm going to braid my leave out out of the way and start to straighten my extensions. Okay so this might be self explanatory but I'm just going to section off my hair once again and put a big old bantu knot in it and have that out of the way and then I'm just going to start on this side and section that part out of the way and clip it to the side okay so once everything is sectioned off I'm going to grab my flat iron and my rat tail comb because I am going to be doing the chasing method with straightening my hair and the flat iron I'm going to be using is a ceramic flat iron that I got off of Amazon and if I'm not mistaken, I straightened my hair on either 410 degrees or 425. Um, so yeah, that is basically all the logistics on how I straighten out my sew-in or how I straighten out my leave-out, how I lay my leave-out, all that good stuff. So I really hope this um, helped you guys. I'm just going to let you guys watch everything through because I'm not, obviously, I'm not done yet. But if you guys have any more questions, let's, let me know. Just be mindful, I'm not a hairstylist at all all like at all you guys so i'm not a hairstylist um so if i can't answer your questions i sorry but i'll try okay okay Moving on to straightening out my leave out, I'm basically going to be doing the same exact thing, the chasing method, but I'm going to be going over my roots about three or four times and then I pass over my hair one time. I don't do it more than once because just don't do that. <laughs> 
and I'm also going to pass over the sides of my hair and the back of my hair one time as well I've noticed that the sides of my hair does not take heat as well as the middle and the rest of my hair because the sides of my hair is a little heat damaged and I'm not really like freaking out about it because I honestly really don't care because I already know what I did to make it heat damaged but just to let you guys know you guys just have to figure out how much heat your hair can take especially if you straighten your hair frequently just don't overdo the heat keep it at 410 nothing above 430 440 450 you pushing it girl okay I did a little research and I found out that hair starts to burn over 450 degrees healthy hair starts to burn over 450 degrees so your hair should be able to take up to 450 degrees I'm not telling you guys to straighten your hair at 450 degrees because that's kind of a lot of heat but just be mindful and figure out how much heat your hair can take so now I'm just gonna oil my scalp that is exposed don't be scared to use oil in your hair because your scalp has to be oil you can't be out here having a flaky scalp you definitely have to take care of your scalp girl okay so I'm using this um, to make sure my scalp is good and with the scalp that is under the sole and I use olive oil and a little dropper to oil my scalp also with my straight hair in general I like to use oils that are very very light um, and not heavy at all because my hair is on the fine side so it does get weighed down very easily so I have to make sure I'm going light-handed with all the oils Okay, so I don't know if you guys peeped it, but I did use a serum on my hair after I was done straightening my hair. When I was talking about, you know, heat damage and all that other stuff, knowing how much heat your hair can take. Um, I put the Frisbee Gone Serum on it. Let me just run that back. Okay, so this is the Frisbee Gone Serum. This is a super smoothing anti-frizz serum for your hair. Um, and I only rub a little bit in my hair and I rub this all throughout my hair just to have like a finishing oil to make sure my hair is protected so it won't frizz up and this is a very lightweight serum I've tried some other serums and they do kind of get heavy if I reapply it but this one usually doesn't weigh my hair down so that's why I always use this this is like my ride or die I mean I got it from TJ Maxx and it was $5.99 girl so that is it for this video you guys I really hope you guys liked it if you did go ahead and give me a thumbs up comment down below and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next upload